All right, Nick, let's talk about the Florida State Seminoles. They've been doing very good all offseason, killing it in the recruiting game, showing that Florida State is back on the map and this program is on the rise. But when you're on the rise, Nick, you always got to keep your sights set in the future. And Florida State is making a big-time future-based move coming up, and I think the fans are going to love this one. Yeah, my son, this is a very interesting report coming out of Tallahassee, but the long-term direction of Florida State, I think this is a massive move going forward. And while we're talking about massive moves, look, we've gone through pretty much an entire recruiting cycle, entire transfer cycle. We know guys in the 2024 class will continue to announce their commitments, but let's focus on the near term here. Florida State fans, give me who you think was the biggest move, the biggest addition the Florida State Seminoles have made now that we've completed pretty much the entire offseason. Whether it's a recruit or a transfer, give me the biggest move the Seminoles made in the comment section below. All right, Miles, what you got? What's the latest out of Tallahassee? Yeah, Nick, Florida State, as we said, been killing it in the recruiting game. The 2023 class is looking very, very good. They're ranked number 16 overall so far. That 2024 class looks even better. Early on, they're ranked number six overall, just showing that Florida State is being able to get a lot of big recruits. But when you get that, Nick, you got to think, like we said, about the future of the program. And what is the best fit for this program? Is the ACC the right place to be for Florida State? And Florida State and their higher-ups think maybe not. And I'm going to get into the article and we can discuss afterwards. This, of course, is from over on uh, CBS Sports. And it says, During a Board of Trustees meeting Wednesday, Florida State President Richard McCullough lamented on a gap in revenue projections between ACC schools and the country's top two conferences. He said, We are seeing, a large, we are seeing large media deals that have been made like the Big Ten and the SEC, which in many ways, and perhaps in this exaggeration, have created an existential crisis in many ways for Florida State University. I don't think that uh, that is an exaggeration, Nick. I think it is the truth, and we'll talk about that later. But he says, uh, McCullough said, we will be $30 million per school per year behind in our gap in conference distribution with contracts that are going through 2036. The current situation prevents a very difficult situation for us. Without increasing revenue, we will face major challenges in being able to compete in football as the landscape is changing dramatically. With our ability to compete in NIL, coaching salaries, and attractive facilities to continue to build our brand and be competitive. McCullough went on to say the Seminoles will at some point consider leaving the ACC barring radical change in revenue distribution. Other trustees were even more candid on a potential exit from the conference. FSU trustee Drew Weatherford stated, It's not a matter of if we leave the ACC, but how and when we leave. But FSU trustee Justin Roth additionally came for an exit to come within the next year. So Nick, big news out of Florida State. A lot of shake up here. And I think money is the key here. The ACC is lagging behind. They're stuck in this deal with ESPN and it's truly proving to get them snake bit wrong place wrong time uh you know nil has changed everything and it's going to make a shake up in the top teams they need to get more money to be competitive and if they're not getting it from the acc i think florida state's doing good by looking forward to possibly get out of that contract what do you think about this nick and what does this just mean for the acc and fsu going forward so we talked about it earlier this offseason. This was more of just a rumor that the uh, Florida State Seminoles were potentially considering leaving the ACC. And I think it's pretty much set in stone. You heard some of the Board of Trustees very flatly saying it's not a matter of if, but when. And I think that makes sense for Florida State. And the money is the exact reason why, strictly because of the competitive forces. In order for Florida State, and they're one of the two teams in the ACC, in my opinion, them and Clemson. I'm discounting Miami. Miami's been bad for about 15, 20 years now. We can talk about the used glory days are probably forever gone now. But between Florida State and Clemson, those are the only two national title contending teams that you can reasonably expect in the ACC. Having only two top teams in your conference is a very quick way to uh, launch a death spiral and go to zero in terms of notoriety, in terms of money, in terms of uh, going to big time bowl games and toward, in terms of getting national attention. No matter how you look at it, they're on a very quick track to being irrelevant, which Florida State shouldn't be. They're obviously a glory, glorified program. They've got a lot of blue collar, blue chip program, a lot of great history. Clemson very recently has a lot of great history as well. I think both of those programs right now are talking to Greg Sankey, the SEC commissioner, pretty much nonstop and saying, listen, 
what do we need to do to get into your conference? I think it makes the most sense. Florida State and Clemson joining the SEC over the next two to three years. The fact that the uh, board of trustees from Florida State are coming out very vocally and saying, hey, listen, we want to get out of here. The revenue is going to work for us. We're going to be in a competitive disadvantage. They are setting the stage for having a massive buyout. That's why you see all these numbers thrown around, right? That's why you see $30 million shortfall, things like that. They're setting the stage that way when they say, hey, listen, we had to pay the ACC $25 million to leave, but we were going to lose, you know, we're going to have $30 million issue. See, it kind of worked out okay in the end moving to the SEC. I think that's what they're setting the stage for right now. I agree with this board of trustee. I think he speaks honestly when he says it's not a matter of if but when and don't be surprised florida state seminoles fans when you guys are playing an sec schedule i think by 2025 yeah nick and i think what you said is just it shows what is going on in the national landscape they gain more to they're uh, set to gain more by losing leaving the acc than they will losing uh trying to get out of that contract they buy their way out and they can recoup their losses in a matter of years the sec and the big 10 look like they're going to be big money spots and i think just highlighting what they said in the article again, just talking about their ability to compete, whether it's NIL, coaching salaries, and attractive facilities. That's the key nowadays. That's what football is all about. How good of a show can you put on for these guys coming in? Because they have their pick of the litter nowadays with the NIL in, in tow. They can do whatever they want. They can go wherever they want. The transfer portal is wide open. Guys can switch if it's not good enough. So, you know, this lack of money is not acceptable anymore. And I think FSU is showing that they care about this football program and that this is going to be one of their shining stars uh, going forward. So I love that they're giving the uh, football program the attention that it needs and making the necessary moves to get it back on top. And it just makes sense from us. We talk about recruiting a lot this offseason, right? Every time we do an FSU story, who are they recruiting, uh, we're competing with for these recruits? Florida, Tennessee, Georgia, and then Alabama pretty much are the top four guys. Why are you competing with every SEC powerhouse while you're outside the SEC? It's their, They get none of the reward in terms of the money, the notoriety you're playing in the SEC, but all the risk having to compete with them on the recruiting stage. You better believe Norvell sees that. You better believe the athletic department sees that. And none of the board of trustees see that. I think over time, they recognize that that's become a problem for long-term success. They want to move over to the SEC. It's my personal opinion, and I don't blame them. I think it's going to happen really soon, like I said, probably by 2025.